In his regular column in The Times today, Matthew Paris writes this about a recent experience on the London Underground. Quote, I find myself in a jam-packed rush hour carriage last Thursday, pressed so hard up against a young lady in a fur-lined collar that when she turned, the pelt pushed into my face. I felt an almost uncontrollable urge to munch the fur like a nuzzling spider monkey. Thank God I resisted. It's a demon within that urge to do something silly just because you can. Standing on a busy up escalator, one step below another passenger, with my mouth inches away from their bottom, I always experience a tremendous temptation to bite. I'm honestly not a nipper or a bottom fetishist. It's just that there's this big anonymous bottom so close to my teeth and a kind of non-verbal Tourette's comes over me, like the urge to shout a rude word during a funeral oration. One would bite because, well, because like Everest, it's there. So far I've resisted, but sooner or later I shall succumb and be marched away by the transport police. Well, we wondered whether Matthew was alone in this non-verbal Tourette's. I'm Janet Ellis, and I have to confess that whenever I walk past a restaurant where the tables of diners spill onto the pavement... I have to fight the urge to take perhaps a small forkful of food or even a chip off the nearest plate and eat it as I walk away. My name is Michael Crick. Now, sometimes, I know it's mad, but when I approach an automatic glass door, and if nobody's looking, I'll snap my fingers like this, hoping that the door will open as if it's opening in response to me snapping my fingers. Now, it's bonkers. I know perfectly well that the door's not opening in response to my fingers, but somehow it gives me certain satisfaction. This is Simon Calder. At airport security checks, when I see a little old lady's sewing kit being confiscated or a hapless tourist humiliated for inadvertently breaking the rules by carrying a bottle of water, I feel the urge to scream, ha, another terrorist outrage foiled, the world is safe. But I never do. I'm Miriam Margulies. And I'm rather in agreement with Matthew Paris and his compulsion to smack bottoms when they're presented to him. doesn't often happen, but sometimes somebody might bend over in front of me and I find it very hard not to give their little upturned moon an almighty thwack. I don't know why I do it. It must reveal something in me which is rather disturbing. I'm not known as a bottoms person. But if I see a bottom and it's within reach, I want to smack it. Maria Margulies. Dr Alan Watkins is a psychologist. What's wrong with us, Doctor? Nothing's wrong with us. It does make you wonder what kind of childhood Matthew Paris had with his temptation to bite bottoms and to nuzzle into fur. Basically, what's going on here is that uh, we like to think we're in control of our behaviour, but an awful lot of how we behave is driven by the way that our mind is conditioned right back into childhood. So we program things into our mind based on very early memories that cause these impulses much later on. So if Matthew had an occasion where he was strongly rewarded when he nuzzled into some kind of fur at the age of six weeks or three months or whatever it was, even before he had language, that gets programmed into his brain, particularly his hippocampus, and years later that it's triggered by uh, an, an experience as an adult. So it's just his mind in the way that his mind's being conditioned and deeply embedded programs, implicit memories, driving his behaviour today, and he's just not aware of it. But what about uh, shouting out? I mean, Simon Calder there mentioned shouting at uh, security at an airport. Uh, Matthew talked about shouting out during a funeral oration. It's, it's doing something you shouldn't. It's being a little naughty, isn't it? Is it not that simple? It, it may well be that simple, but the same process is at play, that uh, there may have been experiences uh, in early childhood where this was... Uh, inadvertently rewarded, um, you know, the child who is sort of almost, oh, that's terrible, you shouldn't do those kind of... But actually he's getting attention through shouting out. And so he just basically embeds that memory uh, deep within his unconscious. Uh, and when the, a very similar type of set of circumstances present themselves as an adult, it triggers the same memory. So it's not really what's happening right now, it's triggering some past implicit memory that makes him want to repeat the behaviour that he had was rewarded uh, when he was a child. Should we resist or should we just see a psychologist? 
Well, I, I don't think you need to do either. Well, you need to resist. Uh, obviously, behaving inappropriately <laughs> in public is, is not to be encouraged. Um, but you don't need to see a psychologist. I mean, this is just basically how the, how the mind works. I mean, we'd all benefit from understanding that we're not quite as in control, control of our behaviour as we'd like to think we are. Doctor, thank you so much. Dr Alan Watkins, psychologist. Uh, if you have a similar tale, do drop us an email, pm at bbc.co.uk. I'll resist the temptation to shout out while Jay Wynn brings you the weather forecast. Thank you, Eddie.